ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಚ್ಚರಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ ಬೈ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮನಾಥನ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ telecasted in sai tv this is purely done to share the glory of sai and his divine teachings with more insight to the aspirants om gurur brahma gurur vishnu gurur devo maheshwaraha gurur sakshat parabrahmam ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ವಿ ಮಾರ್ವಲ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಫುಲ್ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಇನ್ ಟ್ರೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪಿಲ್ಲೈಸ್ ಏಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೈಸ್ಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಜರಿ ಟು ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರಿಹೆಂಡ್ ದ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಗಾಡ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಷನ್ in this case making dr pillai to sit close to the nanda deep asking him to keep his legs stretched was like preparing dr pillai for the procedure such a great arrangement by shri sai maharaj that abdul baba will have no way to reach the nanda deep other than walking closer to dr pillai and accidentally stamping on the stretched legs Shri Sai Baba used Abdul Baba as a crow to peck on the wound of Dr Pillai. Why did Shri Sai Maharaj use the term crow to indicate Abdul Baba? This is interesting. Let's ponder deeply on that. When Abdul Baba was coming to Shirdi for the first time, even before he reached Shirdi, Shri Sai Maharaj screamed out loud, "Mere kaula aaya la." which means my crow has come this he said when abdul baba was in kopargon it is a very common practice among the sufi saints to address their devotees by using the names of animals or birds here the term crow denotes its quality of accepting whatever was provided to it and leaving the spot clean Similarly Abdul Baba cleaned the path trekked by Shri Sai Maharaj this same crow was used to perform the surgery for Dr Pillai after the surgery pus began to ooze from the wound and the pain was excruciating at the situation Dr Pillai recalled the words of Shri Sai Maharaj that a crow would come to peck him Dr Pillai was nervous as such he is unable to tolerate the pain on top of it if a crow would come and peck oh the situation was unimaginable for him so he asked shri sai baba when will the crow peck me shri sai replied the crow will not come again because when you kept your legs stretched abdul who came to refill the oil in the lamp is that crow He is that crow who opened your wound and lessened your pain. Listening to this, all those assembled there were dumbstruck at the sagacity of Shri Sai Maharaj. As stated earlier, this is not the only time such a surgery had been performed by Shri Sai Maharaj. Many miracles had been transpired by the omniscient God during and after his tenure at Shirdi. it is impossible to compile all of them hence let's only focus on very few of them here says ramanadan brother let's now listen to one connected to nana sahib chandorkar an ardent devotee of shri sai maharaj was instrumental in spreading the glory of shri sai baba among many prominent ones in the society he was serving as a deputy collector during the british rule was very affluent and renowned once he got a big lump on his buttock the pain was intolerable he was unable to sit walk or even stand all that he could do was lie on his stomach 
he consulted all the famous doctors in the town they all suggested that the only option is to perform surgery and remove the lump as we are aware anesthesia must be given to the patient prior to the surgery whereas nana saheb chandorkar hesitated to take anesthesia as he feared he might not regain his consciousness even after the surgery is done Hence he postponed the procedure and was contemplating if he can continue to lead his life without surgery but at the same time he faced severe pain and discomfort owing to the lump meantime the surgeon insisted that he should undergo the operation and fixed the date of his surgery a day prior to this he was lying on his tummy on the bed immersed in the thoughts of shri sai maharaj chanting his name incessantly omniscient shri sai maharaj knew every thought of ours won't he know the plight of nana saheb chandorkar at that juncture without any anesthesia or preparation the hakim of hakim the great lord shri sai maharaj performed the surgery this is an incredible leela Let's listen to it now. Nana Sahib's house had tiled roof. While Nana was lying on his stomach, suddenly a tile from the roof fell directly on the lump on his buttock. Thus, Shri Sai Maharaj performed the surgery by cutting the lump using the tile. That very second, Nana screamed out in terrible pain. and before he could realize what has happened his lump was cut open without administering anesthesia or surgical incision now there is no need for him to go through the surgical procedure just by applying ointments the wound got healed as that of a medical surgeon shri sai maharaj executed this procedure so perfectly without causing any damage to nana's any other organ in his body because the tile perfectly fell just on the buttock that had the lump isn't this amazing this attribute of shri sai nath maharaj has been aptly underscored by Pooja Shri Narasimha Swami Ji in Shri Sai Sahasranama Vali Sloka as Om Shri Sai Baishajji Bishajam Varahe Namaha which means salutations to the one who is the divine physician curing diseases of samsara. Shri Sai's practices are unique. To one, he gave a fusion of walnuts, pistachios with milk to another. He administered senna pods on the eyes to stop the irritation which is strange as well as risky to some sona mukhi kashayam was advised then for few herbs were used to cure their diseases many got their ailments cured just by the holy udi so shri sai didn't use any specific medicine to cure a particular kind of disease his methods varied from person to person Thus the procedure used for performing the surgery to Dr Pillai and Nana Saheb were also quite interesting Shri Sai Maharaj had not only healed the physical ailments of the devotees but also their mental illness to mention a person from Nasik by named Ram Baji was considered as mentally sick and was advised to go to shirdi and drink the pad teerth of shri sai maharaj every day as that would cure his mental illness in fact he cannot be considered as mentally disordered person otherwise will he even follow the advice to drink the pad teerth of shri sai maharaj daily he followed this practice for some days and was recognized as a healthy person by others Many allopathic doctors such as Dr Mulke, Dr Pillai, Dr Paramanand had highly qualified British doctors also got relieved from their ailments through Shri Sai Maharaj. As Shri Sai Maharaj treated the diseases of many doctors, Shri Dashkanu Maharaj highlighted this in his composition Shri Sai Stavana Manjari in a very vivid manner. 
This comprises of 163 Marathi poetic verses and in 104th verse he sings thus Tumi Maharaj Rajeshwar Tumi Guberanche Gubera Tumi Vaidyanche Vaidya Nirdara Tuma Vinana Shreshta Koni meaning you are the supreme ruler of all the kings you are affluent provider of wealth to lord gubera you are the healer of the healers that is in all realms none is in par with you devotees shri dashganu maharaj could have mentioned shri sai as the best of the healers but he composed it as the best healer of the healers I must share another significant leela in this connection says Ramanathan brother in the state of Andhra Pradesh there was a great devotee of Shri Sai Maharaj named Baram Uma Maheshwara Rao he was born in the year 1922 served as additional superintendent of police he was an ardent devotee of Shri Sai Maharaj when people in southern part of india was not familiar of shri sai baba he was pulled by shri sai baba to his darbar and was granted wonderful experience it was through his efforts many came to know the glory of shri sai maharaj baram uma maheshwara rao was a spiritually elevated soul and a great devotee of lord rama Once at night Shri Sai Maharaj appeared in his house at Hyderabad from then on he had the greatest blessing to converse with Shri Sai Maharaj directly during his meditation Shri Sai Maharaj gave him many instructions guided him through intuition on various matters thus Shri Sai Maharaj steered him to trek a blissful spiritual life and also forewarned the impending dangers there is a deeper connection between the miracle related to nana sahib chandorkar and this devotee because baram uma maheshwara rao is considered as nana sahib chandorkar's next birth nana sahib chandorkar attained mukti in the year 1921 and baram uma maheshwara rao took birth in the year 1922 Shri Sai Maharaj granted astounding experiences in the life of Shri Nana Sahib Chandorkar and similarly he did for Baram Uma Maheshwara Rao Baram Uma Maheshwara Rao's son in law is Bondada Janardana Rao a great devotee of Shri Sai Baba who was a compiler of the blog Sai Baba Miracle Maharaj of Shirdi This has numerous articles on Sri Sai Baba and has been accessed by many Sai devotees worldwide. His compilation also includes an article about Baram Uma Maheshwara Rao in that he has mentioned about a bypass surgery conducted by Sri Sai Baba to his father-in-law. Let's listen to that magnificent Leela now. Since 1968 he suffered from heart disease the condition was diagnosed as aortic stenosis with regurgitation and was advised to undergo bypass surgery he endured many a time severe syncope attacks which left him breathless and pulse becoming very weak and irregular later in november 1983 while he was meditating he experienced a glow of light that had flashed from baba's photo and it pierced his skin in the heart area in a circular manner immediately he felt burning sensation and observed that blood was oozing from the circularly burnt area he then fainted and was lifted and placed on the bed the marks of burns were seen as stitches and thereafter the heaviness in the chest and the syncope attacks subsided immediately and disappeared later the ring like burn marks were photographed thereafter the various tests conducted and had confounded the doctors since b u rao's heart condition was found perfectly normal Few days before this incident his wife had a dream in which she saw four people carrying B U Rao saying that he was dead 
this was a bad omen and however this catastrophic situation was averted by baba then it was understood that baba had performed a surgery on him which reaffirmed baba as doctor of doctors isn't this astounding there is no possibility to perform a bypass surgery in that short time whereas the marks of burns found on his chest looks like the stitches from surgery this was a medical miracle and this amazing cure was executed by shri sai maharaj to baram uma maheshwara rao which has been declared as nana sahib chandorkar in his previous birth though we all are aware of the potencies of shri sai maharaj it just make us feel delighted that such an extraordinarily challenging surgery has been performed by shri sai baba in no time with no medical equipment or with no intervention of any medical profession this is shared at this moment to make the devotees realize what an unprecedented guru is shri sai maharaj and how apt it is to address him as hakim of hakims that is doctor of doctors there is another evidence to the fact that baram uma maheshwara rao was nana sahib chandorkar in the previous birth all the devotees must be familiar with maina tai the daughter of nana sahib chandorkar it's amazing to hear how she came to meet baram uma maheshwara rao in this birth once a lady in mid 30s came and wanted to see bu rao who was unwell at that time she also said that she was proficient in reiki treatment and had come to treat him she was allowed inside the room where bu rao was taking rest she then asked all of us to vacate the room leaving both of them only after some time she came out and said that the treatment was over then we went inside the room to see bu rao who said that she gave reiki treatment to him but the most important thing that bu rao said was that she was her daughter by name maina tai in her earlier birth when bu rao was nana sahib chandorkar in his earlier life she had also known her earlier life and also knew about the earlier life of bu rao this had happened in guntur she was the wife of a senior government official in andhra pradesh at that time how she located the house of bu rao and how she came to know that he was unwell and was in need of reiki treatment all these were not known to anyone these intriguing leelas are narrated in the blog sai baba miracle maharaj of shirdi compiled compiled by shri bondanda janardana rao getting back to the original thread there were many interesting leelas transpired by shri sai maharaj in the life of dr pillai and there are few other fascinating leelas in this chapter which we shall listen in the coming episode bow to shri sai peace be to all om sai ram